All right, this is part 13 of modeling the lost treasure scene for Blender Challenge 9. And I've made a few changes, and this is going to be mostly an update uh, video. I'll, I'll do a couple of quick things here. I've gone ahead and I've done some stuff uh, on my own because I don't think I'm going to be able to do every single thing uh, on video. Um, and so I'm going to show you uh, where I'm at. So first of all, what you're going to notice is this stuff here. So I've got a little a candle holder here, and I'm using a similar wood to this. All right, I've got another one over here, and I've used some up the same material up there. I'll show you that in a second. I modeled a very simple candle, and this is this wick is actually um, let's hide that is actually modeled. All right and uh let's see this is what i've done for my wick okay for my material and candle is just really simple i didn't even really like uh the sub uh, sub surf on it so i changed that and this thing here is a principal volume here so you can see my settings for that in particular I guess color and the density for that mm -hmm. so when I uh, render this thing let's go back to this um, you know I'll get a little bit of, of a volume and hopefully it'll, it'll look okay when it's rendered uh, I'll be rendering an Eevee um, I've also created this wagon wheel like uh, lamp structure and I just I just copied the candles and scaled them so everything's very similar I just didn't feel like doing a whole bunch of different candles and I didn't feel like sculpting them uh, they're not overly visible and uh, that's I think it's gonna be okay um, this will be attached by chains all coming to the center off of a, like a hook up there all right, so I've got that. There's a chance I might thicken this, I'm not sure. Uh, copied a couple of items here and there just to put them wherever. Move this guy over there. And the floor is now wood. And I've moved some sand out here and I'm not finished with the sand necessarily. I might put a couple of starfish. I might, I might do a different sand texture, we'll see. Um, but because I, because I moved the floor down the wood here uh, I've gotten rid of those coins so I'm the main thing I'm going to do here probably is scatter the coins so I'm going to show you uh, how I'm going to use that asset sketcher blender add-on and I'll put a link in the description for that it's a paid blender add-on but I really like it so I'm gonna to have to do that again and I've got a barrel here ready to go because you got to have a barrel I'm going to texture that in Substance Painter, uh, probably in the next video. Uh, in terms of what else I intend to do, uh, I'm going to make more items to put in here. I'm going to make more items to put on the floor. I'm thinking about uh, some some jewelry, and um, we also need to do that sword and. I'm thinking about some more color in here, like a, a flag of some sort, and maybe a trim up, up here, uh, and that kind of a thing. Maybe a couple of items nailed to the, to the beams. So that's where I'm at right now. And I'm going to do the, the coins now. So I'm just gonna hide the roof. And I'm going to hide this wagon wheel candle stuff that, like there. I'm going to look down. Now, um, I should say that out towards the back, I have my original items. If I, if I instance them to there, this is an instance of this thing. So if I, if I was to move that, all those things move with it. All right, so that's the... That's what you get with instancing. So uh, I've got those back there. I've also got my coins. So, all right. So we're gonna scatter some coins on the floor. All right, so I'm gonna press N. 
asset sketcher uh, is right here and I've got the two coins here in my asset library all right there's these these two coins over here all right so I've got that and in terms of my settings I've got a brush size set I've got a brush density set and I've got my distance between my assets set and I am going to uh, orient them onto the wood floor and I'm going to rotate them in the Z and they're just going to lay flat on here all right um, my asset scale a little bit of randomness and um, also I brought my floor I've selected the floor select the floor and then go add canvas object so they're going to orient uh, to the to the floor all right so I am going to choose coin this coin I guess and I'm going to click on enable sketching and you can see there's a blue circle so if I start just clicking here okay a whole bunch I'm going to disable sketching and let's come over here and look at these now I now have a bunch of coins on the floor all right so that's cool let's look down from the top let's enable sketching put a few more here all right so let me select this coin which is the other coin make sure I've set the rotation enable sketching and let's give this a try there's a drawing in here let's just see what that looks like okay so they're scattered around here and there and they are rotated what I would then have to do is go back in and I might have to um, delete a few of these uh, if I feel that they're overlapping too weirdly okay you can do that in the software as well and what I might do is I might uh, see if I can uh, move some of these like, like move this one in here I don't know how well that's gonna work suggested to me that I have a couple coins sitting in the cup well I'll just leave them up there for now Now, they're not overly visible on the floor. Maybe they could be bigger, but I, I am toying with the idea of some kind of a, of a carpet on here uh, as well. So they might be more visible or maybe it doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, so that's where this thing stands so far. Uh, we need some other items uh, in here and then some stuff moved around. Um, I'll just show you real quick in case uh, I wanted to scatter some of these gems around. Okay, I could uh, just create a new asset item. So there's my gem. And um, I'll put a rotation. I don't know how noticeable it'll be. Probably 55% random scale. Let's try this. Let's 
let's set um, saying that I would necessarily keep that. All right. Let's see how far they're going into the floor a little bit. So I may have to think about that. for grass and trees and other types of vegetation. That one may not have been resting that well. So, so there you go. Just a quick uh, scattering of the of the the gems around. Um, yeah, that looks great. All right, so um, what I'll do is I'll come back in the next video and we'll texture this and we'll get some other items uh, going on this scene so that we get closer to finishing this uh, very enjoyable process of modeling this. Let's get everything back. Final look for now. Cool, see you next time.